You have to remove your neutral safety switch from your old clutch assembly, from your master cylinder assembly here, from the, actually from the rod that goes inside of the cab. To remove it, at the bottom of it, two plastic tabs right here. Just push those together and slide this keeper up and out. Then you just simply push on the top of the switch and that will release the spring loaded side. Then push from the bottom. There's the entire switch. This grommet, this foam grommet, this rolls over. This plastic one does not. So you put your foam grommet back on your new assembly and your spring will engage right here on this shoulder. So when you go to put your new switch on, you want to start with it low to make sure that your spring assembly engages there. Pop everything back into place and replace your cover. There's your neutral safety switch. Now that we've got our safety switch installed, we're just going to give you a little tip here to make this easier on you. Uh, Valera's hydraulic assembly that they send you does not come with the, the metal bracket. This metal bracket inside the cab is held on by two 15 metric nuts. It's right through the firewall and it's, it's right where we unhooked our, our old assembly. It will be easier on you to go ahead and take this bracket off the firewall and assemble it onto the master cylinder before you put it in the truck. And just, just trust me on this one. There's only one way that this goes and there's two washers on here. There's a thin one and there's a thick rubber washer. You just want to make sure that this is tight. Okay, that's the key. It's making sure it's tight. And it only goes on here one way. All It's got four ears on it. And you can try it all four different ways, but you'll see that only three ears will be on. And there's the fourth way, and that's the only way it goes. So just turn to lock this in place. That's correct. Alright, so we've got that started. Now we're going to go ahead and drop this in the truck. Now, we'll finish locking this into place once we get it in, inside the vehicle. Okay, we'll start by fishing our, our slave cylinder down, going towards the transmission. It will go between your brake blocks, your brake box and your steering shaft here. And then to the outside of the frame rail. Be very careful of the starter. You got no parts on here. You don't want to flash. So you keep the hydraulic line down. The bottom portion of your hydraulic line down. Now before you go to fishing too much here, you'll want to start your connecting rod and your electrical portion back into the cab while you're kind of fishing your lines down through at the same time. Alright, finish locking it into place. Then you'll push your dust boot up and over. We'll do we'll finish that once we get it bolted inside the cab. So that's got our, our hydraulic line that goes to the slave center that's got that pointed down. And your reservoir will be actually pointed up. Make sure that you don't have anything kinked and we'll probably be mounting our reservoir somewhere in this area right here as long as we can get to it to fill it in, in case we need to and it's not kinked up so there's our master cylinder portion of what's outside the firewall now we're going to do the slave cylinder side on your slave cylinder you'll have the plastic locking tabs that hold the the push rod in you don't cut these or break these what will happen is when we attach this the first time that we touch to the clutch pedal that's going to break these tabs and that's going to disengage the the push rod there. So, bolt it to the side of the transmission. Two 13 metric nuts. Hold it on and you want your hydraulic line pointing up 
that keeps it away from the uh, keeps it away from the front drive shaft here. And what we'll do basically is we'll zip tie it up everywhere where it won't make contact with anything in rotation like the steering shaft and the drive shaft. So I'm just going to kind of get a gauge on where I need to be there. That's where I, that's where I want it, it's right there because that's the only place where it doesn't, it's not kinked or anything like that. We zip tie it right to one of the brake lines and we got it. Now we're going to tighten up both the 15 metric bolts. There's one right above this and just to the right. We're going to tighten up both of these bolts and we're going to uh, re-hook our electrical connection in for our neutral safety switch and then we're going to adjust our rod. Now when you're adjusting the pedal on your hydraulic assembly it's probably going to come the rod is actually going to come run all the way in. I wish I had a little bit better shot on it because I've already adjusted it a little bit here but your rod will probably be run all the way to the back of the assembly. Now to adjust the rod you'll just loosen up this jam nut and then you can extend your travel or decrease your travel. So what I've got right here and I just kind of gauged it with by just mocking it up here look at the, looking at the hydraulic assembly what I've done is I've just kind of mocked it up here and I've got it to where it's just about even on travel right there where it's just about even on travel with my brake pedal. It's just about even with my brake pedal. That's going to be my starting point from right there. So I may have to do some adjustment on it. I'll know more here in just a second. But what we're going to do now is we're just going to finish getting everything battened up inside here and then see where our adjustment's at.